Hey, what's up? Alex here. As you can see from the very different backdrop, I'm not at home shooting this video today. I'm over at my office warehouse where I'm going to do a complete revamp of the network and security camera setup here. So this warehouse is actually pretty big. Combining two units together, there's a room partition out to use as the office area. Then the rest of the space is simply used to keep our stock as a warehouse. So you might be wondering what kind of stock am I keeping here? So last year, I started a Shopee store selling some desk setup accessories uh, such as desk mats, cups and coasters. Thanks again if you have bought something there. This year, I'll be adding a couple of more products. So for that business itself, it's occupying about 10% or even lesser than that of the space here. The rest of the 90% is actually my family business selling cosmetic makeup products. So sometimes when you go to shopping centers, there'll be atrium events from companies like Watson. Most of the makeup products that you see over there are coming from here. We also sell online on Shopee, so you can share this with your wives and girlfriends if they are interested. Don't ask me anything about makeup, okay? I know nuts about it. Okay, that's enough of the self-promoting. The current existing network and security camera solutions are done quite a number of years ago, not by me. The security camera used are those very traditional CCTV solutions. Total about 20 cameras around. So I have already tear down and remove all of them already. For the network, I'm actually not sure how it's configured over here. There's a very old Linksys router. It connects to this switch over here. And there is also a Wi-Fi mesh TP-Link. This is Wi-Fi 5. So my plan is to just remove all of this and just do a brand new setup from scratch. So I picked up a whole bunch of Ubiquiti products. I'll go through every single one of them. The total cost of this box is worth over 2,000 SGD. Shout out to Ubiquiti for sponsoring them. So briefly about the company for those that are not familiar with them. Uh, at the lowest end, you have those consumer budget-friendly products. Then all the way to the top are those high-end uh, enterprise used for commercial. Ubiquiti target market is right in the middle. So it's like high-end consumer to SMB. They are a bit like Apple in the world of mobile phones. Known to be quite expensive, but with high quality products. And they have very loyal supporters, a huge group of community that loves their products a lot. Although you see that I'm setting these devices in my office warehouse, but the devices I picked are more of their consumer range. I didn't pick any of those rack mounted devices. So you can totally use them for your own home setup. It's not going to be overkill. Okay, let's go through what I have here. For my router and controller, I got a Cloud Gateway Ultra. This also has firewall and the Unify OS all in one. It's like the brain of the network. This has a 2.5 gigabit WAN port and four 1 gigabit LAN ports. Having a 2.5 gigabit WAN port is good because this will ensure that you have the full 1 gigabit bandwidth connection from your ISP with no bottlenecks and no internet overheads. It's powered by USB-C and the front has a small LCD display to show the network status. Size of this is very compact, not going to take up too much space. For access points, I've gotten one ceiling AP, the U6 Plus. This will be installed in the middle of the warehouse area, providing Wi-Fi connections. In the office area, I'll be putting a wall AP. So the model name for this is U6 in wall. This comes with four gigabit internet ports. So I'll be connecting all the PCs for wire connections to these ports. So these three devices will form my unified network setup. Next, for Unify Protect, which is the camera security system, I'll be using the Cloud Key Plus. So this is a compact Unify console with full Unify application support that comes with pre-installed one terabyte hard disk for NVR storage. NVR stands for Network Video Recording. It basically helps you to record all your camera video footage into a local hard drive. So this hard disk by itself costs about 50 bucks already. If you require additional storage, this USB-C port allows you to connect to expansion. Power-wise, you can either use PoE or USB-C. I'll be using a PoE. The micro SD slot above is to do backup for the controller. The power button is behind, which I think makes more sense to be at the front. The front also has a small LCD display to show the status. Okay, in terms of cameras, I got their entire new G5 series of cameras. The bullet, the dome, and the flex. Each of these cameras has its own use cases. And lastly, their video doorbell. There's no G5 for their doorbell yet, so this is their G4 Doorbell Pro. All the cameras and access points, I want them to be powered by PoE. 
So I have also gotten the 8-port switch from their Ultra product lineup as well. It's quite funny that the power brake is bigger than the switch itself. This is able to support a power load of about 200 watts. There are 7 gigabit PoE ports at the front. The one last port is behind which can be used as your PoE input. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is to do a power on test for all the cameras and access points. I'll get them fixed up at all the different spots I plan to place them. Then get my electrician to do CAT6 wiring all the way to this office and to where the switch is being placed. Connect them to the switch and see whether they can be powered up first. While researching the products on the website, I discovered a very cool and useful tool called the Design Center. This tool allows you to upload a picture of your floor plan or draw it out yourself with accurate measurement drawn to scale. The purpose is to help you decide on where to place the equipment for the best outcome. So for YAP, it will show you the coverage and signal strength which changes based on the type of wall you used. For cameras, it will show you the viewing angle so that you know where are the blind spots. This tool is totally free for you to plan out your setup. There is my trusted electrician helping me to fix up the cameras. I'm not that confident doing drilling while standing on a ladder so high up and the space is also very tight. Anyway, he's there complaining about the cable being very stiff and hard to twist around. He's now doing the wiring and clamping in the office room. Apparently, these are CAT 6A shielded cables which are much thicker. This is my first time seeing what's inside such a cable and finding out why it's so thick and hard to twist. There are actually a lot of protective materials that make the cable much more durable. The term used is shielded cable and it's actually very good especially if you are running PoE. For PoE, it's also recommended to go with minimum CAT6 cables. But the cons is that this cable is really very hard to manage around at tight spaces. My electrician keeps complaining about this as he has to redo the clamping quite a few times to get it right. Okay, one thing I realized is how easy it is to do the initial setup. You know, typically for most of the networking equipment, you have to take a laptop, not any laptop, you must have the internet port, connect to one of the ports, set the IP address, then you're able to log into the management console and do the necessary setup. I don't have to do all this because they have one thing, Bluetooth. Simply download the app and you are able to finish the initial setup all within the mobile app itself. Seriously, other brands should all be doing this as well. Alright, the access point should be ready to use. I already set up the SSID so now I'm just going to do a speed test. So just now I call up the Starhub ISP asking for some network settings. So I realized that the plan I have over here is only 350 Mbps. So business plans are 3-4 times more expensive. So speed is good. I got 332 down and 335 up. Let me show you. Again, this is based on 350 Mbps plan. This is their flex camera and look at how small it is. As the name suggests, you're flexible to place it anywhere you like. You can actually use it to hide it somewhere. Camouflage this like those used in reality TV shows. I plan to keep this loose, place it somewhere in the office room first. Looking at the desk and this equipment here. For the dome camera, I decided to have it here where it's able to see most of the things I want over here. So a little bit on the entrance coming into this area. Ideally, I will need another one more camera so that I'll be able to see the entire lanes on both sides. But good enough for now. One benefit of the dome camera is they have this protective cover to prevent people from adjusting the camera. Unlike the bullet camera which people can use like a stick to change the viewing angle. The bullet camera is also not really meant to do ceiling mount but it's much cheaper, almost a hundred bucks different. That will save you quite a lot if you are getting a number of cameras. I actually made a mistake installing these two close to the corner. Recommended distance allowance is at least 60cm. It doesn't have those 360 rotating axes, so I have to really take some time adjusting the camera to the best possible angle. I want to be able to see the exit door and as much of the table in the area right below the camera. For the doorbell, you can see that I have a box up here and the reason is because I need to keep this PoE to USB converter inside. 
Apparently, the PoE model for the doorbell is out of stock, so what I have here is powered by USB and connected through Wi-Fi. So they have this adapter that converts PoE power to USB. Their doorbell is very cute, as you can put an image here, you can also set a custom message for a certain duration. Another thing is the doorbell has another camera below, so this is good to check whether there is any parcel delivery placed right below. Now that everything is done, let me just walk you through the final setup of how all the devices are connected. So starting from your ISP fiber optical network that will have a cable connection to the UCG Cloud Gateway Ultra to the WAN port at the back. Connect one of the LAN ports to the PoE switch. I use the port at the back since it doesn't require PoE. The rest of the seven ports are all fully populated as you can see. One goes to the Cloud Key bus, one goes to the wall AP which is mounted onto the wall the three cables coming down are going to each separate PC that we have here. Another one cable from the switch goes to the flex camera over here. Now for the four CAT 6A cables that are wired by my electrician, one of them goes to the ceiling AP, one goes to the bullet camera, one goes to the dome camera, and the last one goes all the way outside to the doorbell. This to me is a very clean and simple setup and this is also automatically detected on the management console under topology which also shows you all the active client devices on the network as well. From here, you get a good amount of very useful insights including usage activity, which apps does the device uses the most. Going to Unify Devices, it shows you the devices in a list view with all the important essential information you need. Then simply click on the devices for a further configuration. Click on settings and that's where you set your Wi-Fi, VLANs and security stuff which I still need to finish doing. Over at their dashboard, I really like what I'm seeing here all in one page. So this is Unify Network. To access Unify Protect, I will select the Cloud Key Plus and click on Protect. Okay, so these devices had its own set of supported Unified applications that you can install. The dashboard here shows you live view of the cameras. This is a feature I find very useful. Okay, I shall not go into the details too much here as I plan to cover them in another separate video. Just overall, I think the UI is very user-friendly. I would say they made it quite fun for me to play around with the management, which is something not easy to achieve. After completing all this setup, something just pops up in my mind. I'm thinking, so that's why so many people love Ubiquiti products. I'm really impressed with the quality both on the software and on the hardware. I know cost is always a big factor. Personally, I don't think it's really worth for a very small apartment home setup. But if you have a business owner where you have an office or a storefront, I think it's definitely worth considering the unified solution because besides networking and camera security, they also have door access and intercom view IP products, which might be something that I would add to this setup in the future. Or if your home setup can have something like what I have here, especially with both networking and security cameras together, I think the value of Unify significantly increases. Having this setup here now is also good because I can easily include Unify into my home Wi-Fi videos, security cameras comparison videos, smart doorbells, all these that I'm currently working on. So if this is something that you are interested in, do subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.